a shader is something you can apply onto a material zone or a surface. But a material preset is something that defines all the shaders on an object and it is not interchangeable. So while I could put a shader from my cube also onto a sphere and onto the surface of a dress, I can't do the same with a material preset. So the material presets are tied to a particular object. So in it is defined, hey, the object that I belong to has three surfaces. The top one is red, the bottom one is green and the one in the middle is blue. And these are the textures that need to be on each of these material zones. That's what a material preset defines. So therefore I can't put it on an object that doesn't have these surfaces. This hat is a good example here. I can go and put a shader onto the multiple parts of the hat, but I can't put the material preset of the hat onto the cube because if I try and do that, it, I don't get an error message, but also the cube doesn't actually change its color. And that's because whatever is defined in here is referencing the hat that is currently not in the scene. But other products that actually have a shader, that will work. So this product doesn't have shaders. All of them are material uh, presets. So shaders then, they're either in a different category or they, they come with different products. Like here, Tune Generations is a good product that comes with shaders instead of materials. So some of them, they, they, this is scripts here. So that'll, these are material presets here, but uh, so they don't work on the cube, but the shaders that are defined here, they will work on the cube with my surface selector, which is, which is here. So that's an important thing to remember. The material zones are defined on an object. A material preset loads shaders onto all of these at the same time. That's multiple, which is kind of convenient, but a shader is independent of an object. To save out a shader, if I'm happy with whatever's defined at the top here, the way to do that is you need to have that surface selected. So either with the surface selection tool or with the surfaces tab, you can go and have a look at top middles so this needs to be selected. That's important for this to work. So make sure if you have the universal manipulator selected and you just select the object, then this might not necessarily be um, selected. So if I go and just select the object, uh, you can still move it and all that, and the shader might still be applied. But currently I have no material zone selected. So one of them must be selected like the top. This is kind of the important thing. If you go and I'll just save it here to my library and you go with a little plus icon here and say shader preset. That's one way of doing it. Or you go to file save as. So I'll call it my fave shader and I'll save it down here. It also tells you which of these things would you like to save. If you have multiple selected, would you like to save multiple shaders? There's also properties that you can set here. So if you don't want to oversave the UV maps, they're not ticked here at the moment. If you don't want to save the surface simulation properties, you just uh, disable that. That's kind of nice. Hit accept. And then that creates that. And now if I wanted to go and select another surface like this one with the surface selection tool selected, I double click that and then it gets applied to here. So it does work, but you have to select the correct Kiwi for it to save a shader. If you don't want to use the little plus icon down here, the other way to do it is to do file save as shader preset. That's, that's the same thing.